Ornamental grasses uh, are nice for landscapes because they really provide a broad range of textures, uh, forms, colors. Grasses are, are really kind of the natural form of the prairies. By integrating some of these natural shapes, there are beautiful additions to home landscapes as well. Right here is one of the favorites in our trial. It is a switchgrass, Shenandoah. And it's a little smaller than some of the switchgrasses, only getting to be, you know, three or four feet tall. And it has this reddish tipped foliage, which is a really nice color interest. And it has that color pretty much all season, not just the fall or the spring. This Shenandoah is a cultivar of the native switchgrass, so uh, it's very well adapted for the Kansas prairie conditions. Another interesting grass is a miscanthus sinensis strictus, or porcupine grass, and this has variegations horizontally on the leaves, so uh, little stripes. It gets fairly tall, you know, six feet or so once it blooms. Even when it's not blooming, you have some interest with the, uh, the horizontal stripe texture. And another kind of variegation is a vertical variegation on another type of miscanthus sinensis. This is silver feel or silver arrow grass. So this has white variegation vertically on the leaves. So it's adding some nice color and interest even when it's uh, not in bloom. This is another perennial grass. It's called Blue Dune Lime Grass. And it's a cool season grass, so it actually started blooming uh, in June, and it's been, it's kind of past its prime at this point in terms of seed heads, but it still has this spiky blue foliage. Uh, but a word of caution with this grass, uh, it spreads very fast with rhizomes. So this plot here was planted with uh, five little plants, uh, three years ago, and now we're having to actively maintain it to keep it from spreading out of control. Uh, people really need to think about the mature size of these grasses. So if you buy something in a gallon pot, you have to realize in three years it is going to be a full mature plant. They're an extremely versatile group of plants, and they're also nice because they're low maintenance, meaning they don't need much fertilizer, much uh, pesticide application, uh, or much supplemental water once they're established. For more information, visit your local Extension office or visit our website.